Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your love reading. This is for the zodiac sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, welcome to this general love reading. It is October 1st through October 15th, 2018. Love messages. What is coming in for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? It's general, all right? It's general. So it may or may not resonate. The energies can go back and forth as well. If this one doesn't resonate, Taurus, take a look at your moon, your rising, or your Venus. All right, this is collective love energy coming in for the zodiac sign of Taurus. You guys, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Click the box below. All my information is there. <coughs> Woo. Mom had to let out a cough there. All right. All my information is there, you guys. If you need a personal reading, reach out. The October special is carrying over from September. The How Do They Feel spread for $40. Take advantage of that. It's normally $75. I'm not sure when I'm going to end that special, so definitely get on the list for it. Also, I am on Instant Go. If you guys want to check me out over there, Water and Fire Tarot. All right, let's just get this shindig going, Taurus. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. October 1st through the 15th. I'm using the zombie deck. Well, because it's October and Halloween is in October. So that's what we're using. I am doing readings according to Zodiac sign this time around. So you guys are next. Taurus in love. What's coming in? One more shuffle for you guys and we're going to get to it. I want to see love. What is surrounding love for the zodiac sign of Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, good old Venus. Well, because love. Which reminds me, Venus retrograde is coming up in the lovely sign of Libra and Scorpio. So, FYI on that. All right, Taurus, what's your overall energy right now? It's the Four of Swords. You guys taking a break from somebody or is somebody withdrawing from you? It can also be a very meditative healing energy, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, all right? Somebody is taking a little time out possibly or healing, all right? Coming in right now, Taurus, we have the fool in reverse, sign of Aries. Somebody is just not taking a risk or a leap of faith in some sense. Sometimes the fool in reverse can be a lack of a commitment Somebody's taking a break here, pulling away, trying to heal, or just withdrawing because there's this energy of not taking a risk in some way. What's your challenge? Your challenge is the sun, sign of Leo. It's to get some type of clarity on this person or situation that's just not taking this risk. It's to get the happiness back, right, into the situation. What's on your mind, Taurus? We have the nine of wands. Well, aren't you guys just tired? The Nine of Wands is that wounded warrior, exhausted, tired, right? The walls are up, a little bit leery, cautious, worried, right? But they persist. They're going to keep going, but there's a lot of exhaustion and fatigue here because coming in, somebody's just not willing to commit or take a, take a leap of faith. Challenges to get some clarity on the situation or some happiness back into it here. We have Leo and Aries energy. The recent past, Taurus, you have the Queen of Cups. There was love offered in the recent past. Queen of Cups is very open to love. She looks freaked out here, doesn't she? I love this effing deck, Taurus. But in the recent past, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But just the energy of very loving, nurturing. Queen of Cups is highly intuitive. She's healing. Her emotions are in check. Somebody was offering love here in the recent past, but coming in, they're not taking a risk. Why is everything happening? The Page of Wands. You might be dealing with a younger fire sign. Doesn't have to be. Leo, Sag, Aries, right? The Page of Wands is some type of news, right? The situation, you guys might be waiting on news from this person because right now you're wondering, well, are they going to jump off the cliff, Taurus? Are they? A lot of Aries energy here communication. Page of Wands is normally some type of good news. If it's not a message some of you guys are waiting on, uh, then the situation is all about getting out there and starting something new. It's passion. It's fun. It's spark. 
You know, it's going out, having a good time. But I think for most of you, the situation is about communication, receiving some type of good news, because I think somebody's withdrawn with the Four Swords. Coming in, Taurus, what you're going to experience is the Four of Hazards. Traditional deck, this is the Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding back, not opening up, being a little bit stubborn here, guarded, keeping things in. Stubborn energy. Could also be the energy of holding on to something too tightly here. How do you see yourself right now, Taurus? You see yourself as the magician in reverse. Do you guys see yourself as manipulative? I don't think so. Although the magician can be that in the reverse. I think what this is, Taurus, is you guys just don't see things manifesting. The magician is all about creation. It's starting something new. It's having all the tools that you need to get that new start in your love life. Something manifesting. But in re the reverse, you guys just see yourselves as not getting something off the ground. You're not able to get something. And that's why your challenge is the sun. It's to get clarity on this person that's just not taking a risk. Right? And coming in, they're still going to remain closed off. They're being stubborn, maybe secretive. Right? Situation is about getting this good news in because you're tired. You're wounded and battled, Taurus. The person coming towards you, what's their energy coming in? It's the hanged man in reverse sign of Pisces. They might be releasing themselves from this. You know, again, it's that stubborn energy with the hanged man in reverse. They're just refusing to have a different perspective on something. They're not gaining some type of enlightenment here. And because of that, they're, they're releasing. Could be you releasing, but this is the energy coming towards you, right? They're releasing themselves from it. Again, could be a Pisces, doesn't have to be. Uh, but again, needing to have a different perspective, needing to have that clarity, that light bulb moment, but they're not. So instead of sacrificing something, they just release from it. Hopes or fears? What is your hopes or fears here, Taurus? Let's take a look. In your emotions, you have the six of cups, somebody from your past, probably. If not, it's just a really strong connection, a soulmate connection. You feel a very strong emotional tie to this person. If it's not somebody from the past, it's just somebody that you feel like could be a soulmate, right? That's in your emotions. It's a very sweet, loving, nurturing emotion. You want to offer this or you want somebody from the past to come back. Most likely outcome, Taurus, is the two of wands in reverse. More Leo Sag Aries. You know, it's, in the upright, it's, it's about pick, picking a path moving towards the future at a crossroads but making a decision in the reverse somebody's just not making a decision uh, still not making a decision they're not picking a path not planning for the future it's just kind of that stuck energy somebody's not taking action here right so coming in either you're going to release yourself from this or they probably are all right let's clarify it taurus and see what the hell is going on let's take a little gander all right i'm going to clarify this a bitch for taurus you're not a bitch, Taurus, but these cards could be, right? Let's take a little gander and see why, see what's going on. I'm going to move these up a little bit for you guys because, well, I'm just being OCD. I am. And anybody that wants to complain, the cards are in reverse. I can't see them. Well, just pretend that you can, all right? That's why mom here holds them up for you, okay? This is the way I read. You'll want the messages, and this is how I read them. All right, y'all, so let's take a look. <clears throat> Clarify what is coming in for Taurus. What do you want Taurus to know about their love lives? October 1st through the 15th. October 1st through the 15th in love. It's coming in for Taurus. Collective love messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. October 1st through the 15th. What's going on, you guys? What is going on? One more shuffle, and then we're going to get right the hell to it. We are Taurus. What's coming in? All right, let's cut it and get to it. Here we go. Taurus in love. October 1st through the 15th. All right, let's take a look. This overall energy is the Four Swords. Somebody is taking a break, a little a time out, Taurus. They are Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody might be trying to heal, kind of meditate on something, or just taking a damn break. Why is this Four Swords here for Taurus, please? The Knight of Cups could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Normally, the energy for me with the Knight of Cups, somebody you're already dealing with, is taking a break from you. With the Knight of Cups, though, somebody wants to offer emotion, right? But I feel like somebody's either healing or taking a break, right? So that's just not coming in right now. It could be very healing energy as well. 
Queen of Cups is in the recent past. More Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What's this Queen of Cups? Love being offered, right? Also being highly intuitive. Healing. Why is this Queen of Cups here in the recent past for Taurus? What is this? The Queen of Wands in reverse. Two queens here in the recent past. I don't really see any third-party energy, but, you know, Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. Somebody's pissed. Queen of Cups, or the Queen of Wands in reverse, man. She's kind of that mean girl. She's freaking pissed off. She says mean things. She yells. She throws things, right? But it's because something happened, right? Also, too, the Queen of Cups is feeling insecure. He or she isn't taking action. There was love here in the recent past, but somebody just was not moving forward with that queen of wands in the reverse. And somebody could have been quite pissed, all right? Coming in, we have the fool in reverse on Aries. Somebody's just not taking a risk here. What's this fool in reverse? Why is the fool in reverse here for Taurus? The eight of a pentacles. Somebody might be just work, you know, putting all their time and effort into their job or career right? The other kind of feeling I'm getting here is coming in. One person's not committing or taking a risk, a leap of faith, and the other person wants to put work into it, right? This person could be putting work into another area of their life. What's this Eight of Pentacles? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Taurus? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Taurus? The Six of Wands in reverse, so, yeah, it's almost like somebody's pulling away, not taking a risk. One person's putting in the effort, and they're not getting the attention that they deserve or the recognition that they, that they deserve because somebody's just like, uh-uh, I'm not doing it. On your mind is the nine of wands. Why is this here? You guys are tired, battered, wounded, cautious, worried. Why is this nine of wands here? But not giving up, Taurus. Why is the nine of wands here for Taurus on their mind? The nine of pentacles. So a lot of you guys are just, you're worried about becoming single, right? Or you want to become single and independent because you're just so damn tired and exhausted of putting work into this. You've been beat up. You're either worried that somebody else wants to become independent from you and single, or you guys just want to become single here with this nine of wands because you're just, you're tired. You're going to keep going, right? A lot of you, money looks good. You might just decide to focus on money and career because this person isn't taking some type of risk. It's all happening because of this page of wands. It could be younger, fire energy, Leo Sag Aries, some type of news, good news coming in. What's the page of wands? What's this page of wands for Taurus? The nine of swords. Yeah, you guys are worried. You want communication. And you're up at night thinking about it, right? You're, you have some anxiety and some fear and some worry, right? Because you're waiting on some type of good news. Coming in, though, we have the Four of Hazards, which is like the Four of Pentacles. Somebody's just holding back, being stubborn here. Why is this Four of Hazards here coming in? Why will Taurus experience the Four of Hazards? And the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's just not working together. You're not seeing eye to eye with somebody, Taurus, coming in because they're holding back and they're not opening up. You see yourself right now as the magician. You kind of just feel like you can't create something here. You can't get something off the ground. You don't have the tools to manifest something. Or you're trying to manifest and it's just not happening. Why is the magician here for Taurus? Why does Taurus see themselves as the magician October 1st through the 15th? Why? The nine of wands in reverse. So, yeah, because you feel like giving up. Nine of wands. You're like, screw it. I'm not able to manifest it. I can't create whatever's going on here because somebody's not working with me. And unfortunately, coming in, they're still not going to be working with you. So you just feel like giving up. Screw it. Screw it. So the person coming towards you is the hanged man in reverse, sign of Pisces. Could be just giving up. They're stubborn. They refuse to kind of see a different perspective here, so they're releasing why is this hanged man here for Taurus's energy coming in? What, who is this person? What, are they, what is this energy coming towards Taurus? October 1st through the 15th. What's the hanged man energy here coming in? The Eight of Cups in reverse. Ha. Huh. They can't walk away, right? Eight of Cups. They can't walk away. They're releasing themselves. More Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. They're releasing themselves. They're, you know, for a lot of you, they are trying to kind of see things in a different way, but they're not. They're being stubborn, but they can't quite leave it either. Eight of Cups. I, it's almost like this energy, this person wants to be with you, but they don't want to take some type of risk. They don't want to commit or something, but they don't want to leave it behind either. Why is this Eight of Cups here, please? And you guys just feel like giving up on it. Because I think for a lot of you, you want a commitment, and this person's just fucking around. 
Why is this Eight of Cups in reverse? So this person is releasing themselves, but they're probably going to come back in. But be careful because they they probably don't want a commitment. What's this Eight of Cups in reverse coming in for Taurus? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. For some of you, you have a family with this person. Ten of Cups. They want emotional fulfillment with you. They want the Ten. They want happiness. But be careful of what you know what they want. Shit. Maybe they do change their perspective and they come in. They decide they can't walk away from you. You know, because you could have a family with this person. Right now, they're not taking a risk. They're still going to be kind of holding back. And I think for a lot of you, you're going to be holding on tightly to this person. But with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, you're going to experience them not completely working with you, not being on the same page. But they can't walk away from you either, right? They're trying to release themselves, but they can't completely. In your emotions, you have the Six of Cups, probably have a past history with this person, or you just feel like it's a strong soulmate. Why is the Six of Cups here in Taurus's emotions? Why is it here? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Earth, Virgo, a Capricorn, Taurus. Some of you guys might feel financially dependent on this person. No shade thrown. Hey, it happens, right? But with the Queen of Pentacles, also too, this could be their energy. You're holding on to this person because you feel a very strong connection. There's past ties here, nostalgia. But with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this person might just be kind of self-focused, right? They might be kind of all about the pentacle, right? They might be more focused on work, career. Look, Queen of Pentacles in reverse doesn't have to always be a raging bitch, gold digger, right? I mean, that is kind of the energy. But also, too, this person is just not about a commitment. And we see here coming in, they're not about a commitment or not about taking some type of risk. And that's in your emotions. Like, you have this strong connection, but you're afraid this person isn't going to commit. That They're just going to be very self-focused and not about you or a relationship, most likely outcome has the two of wands in reverse. Why is this two of wands in reverse here, please, for Taurus? Why is the two of wands here for Taurus, please? <clears throat> Three of cups in reverse. So, yeah, it's just not, it's not celebrating. It's not coming together. It's not having, like, a full-blown reconciliation, right? It's having some type of disunion or deactivation because somebody's just not taking a chance. Somebody's not taking action, Two of Wands in reverse is not making plans for the future. You know, it's still being at a crossroads, but not picking a path, not moving. You know, and we ask why. Three of Cups in reverse. Yes, it could be a third party. Yes, it could be a third fucking party, but I don't like to always use that. I get so tired of that third party shit. For some of you, it could be. Either you or them, maybe you guys, before all this energy comes in, maybe you guys are with somebody else, or they are, and somebody decides not to take action because of a third party. Also, too, it could just be, you know what, screw it. I'm not taking action on this shit coming in, either you or them, and there's a lack of a coming together or reconciliation. Why is the Three of Cups here, please? Somebody's definitely coming back or coming in, but it's just the energy of, like, well, if you're not going to commit or take some type of effing risk, then I'm not going to effing reconcile. Or if you have a goddamn third party, I'm not taking action. What is this Three of Cups? For most likely outcome for Taurus. What's the Three of Cups? Why is the effing Three of Cups here for Taurus, please? The Eight of Swords. It leaves somebody feeling very trapped and tied to the situation. They're either not going to take action with you and not come together and reconcile the way you want, which is going to leave you trapped, still trapped to the situation, all in your effing head, in that self-imposed prison, you know, because of negativity, negative thoughts, feeling like you're tied and bound. Or you discover this person does have a third party and you're not taking action and it's leaving you all tied and bound. What's this Eight of Swords for Taurus? What's the Eight of Swords? Eight of Swords for Taurus's outcome. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Just not taking a chance. For some of you, it's unrequited. Or some of you, it's just like F you and your Ace of Cups. All right, I don't want it. I'm not taking action. Remember, the energy can be vice versa. But it's almost like the energy of somebody just waited too long to take a risk. And now here they come, you know. Oh, I'm releasing myself. Or, oh, you know, now I see a different perspective here. I didn't before, but now I do. And I can't walk away. I'm coming back. Eight of cups in reverse. Because you make me happy, Taurus. You do. You are my everything. You are my family. You are my Rice Krispie Treats. You are everything, 10 of effing cups. 
right? But you're afraid. You're afraid because in your emotions, you're like, oh, this person's just going to go back to how they were before. Self, you know, just selfish, all about themselves or not giving me the attention that I deserve because they haven't, right? Somebody didn't take action in the recent past. And it's been, you know, the situations, you're all in your head. You're anxious about this person because you can't get it off the ground. And here they come, Doris. Here they come. But in the outcome, somebody's just like, F you and your Ace of Cups. It took you too damn long. There was no action being taken. I'm in the Eight of Swords mentality, and I don't want it. Why is this Ace of Cups in reverse here, please? Why is this Ace of Cups in reverse for Taurus, please? Page of Pentacles. You know, it's making an investment. It's an offer. Page of Pentacles also, too, can be kind of investing in work or in a different situation here, going off on a new venture. It's that message coming in. It's, an, again, pages are delivering something, and the Pentacles are all about an investment. So it's like this person is like, oh, here, take my Pentacle. Let's invest, even though I'm dumping out the Ace of Cups. Let me have one more card on this Page of Pentacles. What is this? What's this Page of Pentacles, please? The Seven of Wands, which leaves you or the other person really guarded, blocking out. Take your Page of Pentacles and shove it up your ass. All right, I'm guarded. I'm protecting myself. I'm blocking you out, and I'm super defensive because in the past, you didn't want to commit. So there you go, Taurus. That's what I have for you. If this person comes back, just know... Either you or them is going to dump out that cup of love because I think the energy just took too long to come in. You guys weren't getting what you wanted. This person isn't taking a risk. You guys have already thought about being single, keeping your coin together. You're guarded. That's what's on your mind here because there's been some shit in the past. Somebody didn't take action, right? Somebody took a break. And I think it's just the energy. It's a shift. It's like you guys were in that mentality, waiting on this all anxious and then here it comes and you guys decide you don't want it because i don't think it's going to be what you want so you turn it down there you go taurus love you hard love me hard back and i will talk to you guys soon take care